The joy of the Lord is your strength. In this guided meditation, prepare and set your heart to experience God's joy that strengthens you. Find a comfortable position to be at ease and rest. Turn off devices that could interrupt you in your time of rest in God's presence. This is your alone time with God, a moment of communion with Him. Now that you are settled down, close your eyes. Breathe in gently and deeply and breathe out. Let this breath of life from God calm your body and mind. When thoughts of your daily activities come to your mind, gently hand them over to God. You can say, God, I hand over this thought to you and visualize it going into the loving hands of your Heavenly Father. Surrender the thoughts that come between you and God. Hand over any burden into His hands. As you set your face towards your Heavenly Father, enjoy Him. As you acknowledge His presence with you, His very presence strengthens you and fills you with joy. Whatever you have gone through or going through, God is telling you that He rejoices over you, His beloved child. He delights when you seek His face with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. He is your God who restores you. The joy of the Lord is found on the road to restoration. You can delight in His joy because He is a forgiving God, gracious, and compassionate. Do not weep over your shortcomings or trials, but rejoice because He shows forth His love and joy over you and will not leave you as you are. He provides you the wisdom, discernment, and strength to change. God's joy is seeing you, His beloved, take heed to His word, His corrective instructions. It delights Him to heal you on the inside and bring forth transformation on the outside. In Luke 15, Jesus tells three stories of things lost and then found, a sheep, a coin, and a son. All three end with rejoicing. What was lost was found. God's joy is in the restoration, reconnection, reunion. Some days are hard to have joy, but be reminded of what the Lord says. I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Seek me with all your heart, and I will be found by you. 
Let God be your strength. Say to him, as written in Psalm 16, verses 5 to 11. Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely, I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure. Because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead, nor will you let your faithful one see decay, you make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. God loves you. God rejoices over you. God heals you when you are hurt. God gives you peace when you are troubled. God strengthens you in the area you are weak. God enables you to live a life He called you to live. When you believe that God will help you in a time of need to do the impossible, you are strengthened. Whatever spiritual season you are in, navigate with wisdom, faith, and courage as empowered by the Holy Spirit. When you face challenges or struggles, and it seems so tough to stand strong, release and hand over the challenge or struggle to Jesus and take on his joy. His peace will be your strength. Jesus Christ is the reason you have joy regardless of the circumstance or situation. Because he is the high priest who understands your weaknesses. For he faced all of the same testings you do, yet he did not sin. Jesus said, Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but cheer up, for I have overcome the world. Therefore, let God's word be the lamp unto your feet and light on your path. Let him guide what you say, what you do, where you go, and how to live your life, to be pleasing to God that in turn strengthens you in your ways.